Hey guys, this is Mark Tech and welcome to my YouTube Tech channel, Emark Tech. Last time I talk about the Hawaii Nova T, I posted it on my YouTube video. Now, I've been making more research about the Hawaii Nova T, the quad camera phone, um, the nice display, everything about the Hawaii Nova T. Now, what comes to my mind, like, I want to compare the phone with its other master. Let's check two masters go head to head. Now, the Hawaii Nova T will be compared with another guess what with the samsung s10 yeah the samsung s10 yeah two master goes head to head the white nova 5 and this galaxy x10 uh what a nice design but from the galaxy s10 but we're going to compare it with uh hawaii nova 5t this year two smartphone king of kings hawaii and samsung going head to head we're going to compare it so we're talking about the Hawaii Nova 5T and the Galaxy S10. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and to follow me on Twitter. Now I will post my IG or uh, my IG username. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's do this. Okay, let's go there. Now we'll start from the body size of the Hawaii Nova 5T. The dimension is 1,543 times 7.8 millimeters with an extra addition of 6.07 times 2.91 times 0.3 inches. The weight of the Hawaii Nova 5T can be shown in 174 grams plus an extra addition of 6.40Z. Now the body is the back body is front black glass aluminum for the Hawaii Nova 5T. Now the front black aluminum frame it has no gorilla at the back. It I will use its own protected phone. Yeah, any bad can happen to the phone with falling on the floor and the phone uh, back can break or um, cause any disaster on any which way. But I would advise them to put a body gorilla glass on it. Now, without it, it is not a good warranty for the user that is using the Hawaii Nova 5T or want to get to the Hawaii Nova 5T. I would not allow it to happen, or no, not like I like to happen, let me put like I'm not the god or something, I like to happen, but I would say it is like a phone like this need a gorilla on it a gorilla pass screen on it like a phone like this not like when we want to compare it with this s10 model or other s9 because i know that s9 and the s model support gorilla screen at the back and also at the front side so it's not good for uh, a user to use the gorilla a, a screen that is not or a bag that is not protected. Moving on to the S10, the S10 body dimension is 1499.9 times 70.4 times 7.8 mini, mini, uh, millimeters and with the extra addition of 5.90 times 2.77 times 0.31 inches with a weight of 150. 7 gram plus an extra addition of 5.54 OZ. Now, the build the body build is back glass gorilla 5. Back glass gorilla 5 with the aluminum frame on it. Nice foam, nice protection on the foam, and it's really nice and pretty perfect on it. So, I'm guessing that in terms of um, warranty, in terms of this and that, these two masters came with a nice structure and a nice design but what am i going to say about them i'm going to say that the samsung galaxy s10 the s10 beat the hawaii over 5t yeah because what beat the wine over 5t is what beat the wine over 5t is the aluminum gorilla glass on it back glass cover and looking at the gorilla glass 5 for testing it with hammer and other things with blah 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 it's hard for you to get scratched but if you use it with the Huawei Nova 5T it can get scratched easily so the Huawei Nova 5T user got to be careful but the people that are going to go into this S10 I would advise you to get it because in case of 
protection and other other things and blah 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 thing to keep your protection assured of you without you wasting money on any screen back uh, glass crack or something else moving on to the next Moving on to the Hawaii Nova 5K uh, display type, it came with a type IPS LCD capacity touch screen 16 million color on it with uh, uh, the display screen. I'm just mentioning the display screen, and also the size is of the screen is 6.26 inches and 96.2 centimeters square with the addition of 84.2 percent screen to body ratio and if you talk about the display of or the, sorry the resolution of it it can be 1000 1080 times 2340 pixels and 95.9 ratio with an uh, addition to 412 ppi density now on it now this white nova 5t display is good and is the best in outdoors environment i will give kudos to it but can it be compared to the s10 uh, which is fellow master the galaxy s10 but let us check if it can be compared with the galaxy s10 because the white nova 5t display is actually pretty one of my kind like I will I love the Y Nova 5T display that's why this is the reason I did a review about the Y Nova 5T. Um I would like to say the Y Nova 5T is not in the Nigerian market, but the S10 is really in the Nigerian market. So um I will just say kudos to the Y Nova Titan. Now moving on to the Samsung. The Samsung came with uh, a display of type dynamic amulet capacity touch screen 16 million color with a size of 6.1 inches 93.2 centimeters square with an addition of 888 sorry 88.3 percent ratio to body body and a resolution of 140 or should i say 1040 times 3040 pixels with a 90.9 ratio and a addition of 550 ppi density on it wow and also it came with the protection of a corny gorilla glass and also addition to hdr 10 plus always on display the whole they know the samsung s10 beat the y nova 5t s10 beat the y nova 5t completely the Y Nova 5T did not come with any body gorilla or quality gorilla glass screen. But maybe this display, the ratio, I come on, the high performance of the phone. Kudos to the S10. Why you not know why you got to step up? Kudos to S10. The difference between the Y Nova 5T and Samsung S10 camera. The Hawaii Nova 5T camera is a quadrant camera, while the Samsung Galaxy S10 is a triple camera. But can it be compared? I will show you next on my video clip on this video. The S10 won this one because the Hawaii Nova 5T now come with the headphone jackpot. Why the Samsung came with the headphone jackpot? And I don't like phones that have that. The Hawaii Nova 5C chip processor is this year. And why the Samsung S chip processor is this year too? But I will talk about the Samsung O. It came with the Exxon 9820 and also with a Qualcomm Snapdragon of 855 Snapdragon that has 7 nm and also an extra octa core of 2.73 GHz. Wow! I'm playing game we're gonna be fast with it for no I'm mostly why Nova 5 is gonna be fast, but I'm guessing the Samsung Gas S I'm gonna beat it. This is a comparison of playing game with the Hawaii Nova 5T and the Samsung S10. Um and both of them are 8 gig gram. Yeah, 8 gig gram of phone. And I'm guessing the S10 playing S10 with this phone is very faster. Uh, faster playing game with this phone is very faster than the Hawaii Nova 5T because the S10, even though the Hue Seacon uh, uh, processor is this year, it's faster than this latest Snapdragon. But playing game with this phone is going to be better. Like playing game with this phone is going to be better than the Hawaii Nova 5T. The S10 performance gaming perf performance win the Hawaii Nova 5T gaming performance. Kudos to Samsung.
the S10 came with two type of internal storage variant capacity. While the Huawei Nova 5 became one type of internal storage variant capacity, S10 one. But the face unlock speed could also Huawei Nova 5T. The fingerprint performance, the Huawei Nova 5T is faster than the S10. The Huawei Nova 5T came with the right hand side full up, while the S10 came with the screen fingerprint. Let's see the S10 and the Huawei Nova 5T camera position. I'll, I'm actually forgetting the quadrant camera, but me seeing the S10 camera position is more better than the Y number 5T, even though the Y number 5T came with a quadrant camera. But them positioning it, it looks not bad, but the S10 have the attractive position of the camera size. Kudos to S10. The Nova 5 thing came with a fast charge, yeah, a fast charge display mode on the screen when charging. But the Samsung S10 came with a wireless charge, a wireless power charging, which you can share power to other phones and a nice charging future. That is all I can say for the Nova 5 thing and the S10. Um, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at I am Ikoko. I am underscore Ikoko and don't forget to follow or uh, subscribe to my channel Imastech and click your double notification to get notified to all my new videos. God bless you. Love you. Bye.